there's this process to monetizing data and, and there's a variety of steps to it. This is kind of a simple look at it. We have a more complex, um, more sophisticated methodology to data monetization. But basically what you wanna do is follow any kind of product management approach. You know, I, I'm the first one to admit that with, with Infonomics, there's not a lot new here. It's about applying traditional ideas related to the uh, monetization and management and measurement of, of traditional assets and applying that in the context of information in ways that it's never been done before. So there are a few kind of nuances here, like uh, one thing in step two here, you want to inventory your available information assets. And by available information assets, we're perhaps thinking outside of the, the business as well. Yeah, there's a, our enterprise or our operational data, there's dark data that maybe we've forgotten about <clears throat> and archived. Um, but yeah, there's this world of data externally that we can integrate with our own data or repackage in ways to monetize it from open data. Um, there's there's uh, 10 million, estimated 10 million open data sets published throughout the world. There are um, 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 billions of websites that can be harvested. There's your partner data or data from your customers or others throughout your extended uh, business ecosystem. There's social media data that can be harvested, billions and trillions of posts. And then there's syndicated data from you know, data brokers and others that can be leveraged in a monetizable way, at least internally, if not externally. The other thing to consider here is that uh, you want to kind of identify ways that others have generated value from data, not just, um, not just internally and not just within your industry. Look at how other industries have monetized data and think about how to perhaps adapt those to your own, your own business. One great example of that is um, <clears throat> the um, uh, LA police force um, identified that they could adapt seismic prediction algorithms to predict where crimes were going to occur. And where they applied that technique, they were able to reduce violent crimes by 30%. So, uh, look at the ways that others in other industries are leveraging data and analytics and think about how to apply that in your, in your own market.